I know you've been waiting here a while. Good thing you all had your phones with you. As the father of two teenage daughters, I know the whole time you were just like, and then he said, girl, I couldn't believe it. who I assume keep you up to date on all the technology. They do. Now, Sasha uh, gave me instructions on Snapchat. Oh, oh really? One, one night at dinner, we're sitting there, and uh, I had read that Snapchat was becoming really popular among her age cohort, so I said, so tell me about Snapchat. So she starts explaining stuff, and then you can make little faces on, on your picture, and this and that and the other. And at, at the end of it, Michelle and I are sitting there, and I, I said, isn't this interesting? And I started talking to Michelle about the implications of social media and what all this means. Come to find out she was recording us the whole time and then sent to her friends afterwards, uh, this is my dad uh, lecturing us on the meaning of social media. <laughs> and she took a picture of herself sort of looking bored. Wow. <laughs> You know, and... Uh, As if you don't have enough security problems right now in the White House. <laughs> and and your Michelle, own Michelle, of course, loved it. <laughs> of course, Malia yeah. thought it was a riot. Yeah. They distributed it to all their friends. It is... Yeah, this is what I go through during dinner. Would you tell young people now that they should never write anything in an email that might, it might possibly be controversial well, the, it, in It's any interesting. Way? Now, I have email. I don't have... Uh, texting? Texting, no. because uh, our, our, my... Phone function is disabled. I, my, my, <laughs> I, I now have an iPhone, but it is, you know, like the phone you give your two-year-old? Yeah. Where, like, they can pretend to press things, but nothing actually happens. Yeah, right. So, <laughs> so my phone has no phone, <laughs> no camera, <laughs> no music. <laughs> All it has is the internet, and I can send emails. Uh, and I think it has, like, the weather box. Yeah, know. right. Uh, so, so I send emails, but my rule has been throughout my presidency is that I assume someday, sometime, somebody will read this email. So I don't send any email that... So you're no uh, fun at, some at all point, no, on email. No, no. Yeah, no. At, that at some point won't be on the front page of, uh, of the newspapers. How's the Wi-Fi at the White House? Is it good? <laughs> we, we just updated it, I think, a, a year and a half ago. And uh, the, girl, the girls threw a party because they, <laughs> it's an old building. The walls are thick. Do we it, know we who, weren't getting real good signals. Do we know who hacked Netflix on Friday night? Because to me, that is an act of war. Yeah. To, to, I mean, people are. You didn't know what to do. I, well, what are you going to do? <laughs> yeah, I mean, people are sitting, sitting down to watch Narcos or something and, and nothing. I mean, yeah. do we know? We have any idea who did that? We don't have any idea uh, who did that, but what is true is that we are all connected. We're all wired now. And one of the biggest challenges for the next president, and the president after that, and the president after that, is going to be how do we continue to get all the benefits of being in cyberspace, but protect our finances, protect our privacy? Yeah. Um, how do we balance issues of security? Because people expect the government to monitor this enough to protect them from bad guys. But they worry that if government is in there too much, then that who's going to protect them from government? Right. And we're going to have to come up with uh, frameworks, and some of it's going to involve technology, some of it's going to involve law, but this is going to be a big debate that we're going to have for a long time. I bet we will. Thanks for watching. If you liked that, subscribe to our YouTube channel for all the latest videos. And if you didn't, subscribe anyway. It's free. Who cares?